Tupac Shakur's public life began when he joined the Seminole Bay Area Rap Ensemble, Digital Underground. First as a tour dancer, Tupac then demonstrated his range as a performer when his first solo record, Tupacalypse Now, was on the charts at the same time as his critically acclaimed feature film debut in the violent coming-of-age drama, Juice. Hey guys, so we just got done watching a Tupac hologram perform at Coachella and we were just in shock. Like this was my face the whole time. Have you seen this? Okay, Angie said, look at this Tupac hologram at Coachella. I thought, oh, it's gonna look like a Star Wars hologram or something stupid. <laughs> Watch this footage just for a second. And that is mind-blowing. I honestly is. don't think I've seen anything that amazing in, in quite a long time. 
Yeah, supposedly, I guess Dr. Dre, he was given a blank check from Coachella to spend on anything he wanted for his set. And he spent it on this hologram, which they say ranged from 100,000 to 400,000 dollars. And it's a 2D image, basically. That's so, Tupac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's created by the guys who did um, like Brad Pitt and Benjamin Button or the young Jeff Bridges in Tron. So. It's, it's a computer generated image. This is not footage that he shot a long time ago that they just projected and he never performed a song live, I don't think. And I guess they can do certain things with the voice to make it sound like he's performing. I don't know. Just the necklace, crazy. the necklace was flying around. It's... You could see through the boots a little bit. But other than that, I thought, is, is that him? Can you imagine being there live to see it. I know, yeah. Some people in the comments were saying that they were there and the audience was just blown away in shock. And I mean, there's rumors cried. that, yeah, they're gonna take this Tupac hologram on tour. So would you buy tickets to see this hologram perform? Right, and imagine the possibilities. Would you buy tickets to go see a Michael Jackson hologram tour? Elvis, yeah. It almost brings kind of like moral issues. I mean, I, I've never seen Michael Jackson live, but I've been one of his biggest fans. And, um, geez, wouldn't it be kind of exciting, but almost chilling to go see that? You know, they could do anyone. They could do Elvis, whatever. You yeah. Know? So we want to know from you guys, who would you like to see perform? Live in hologram. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, it's about, mind blowing. It is. What about you? Who would you like to see? I'll take Michael Jackson. I think that's who comes to mind for right. me too. You know, I wonder if they're going to, you know, next year's Grammys, are we going to see, you know, Elvis performance, hologram performance? I don't know. The company that created this hologram also said that you could create anyone and even if they haven't performed live, they can make it look like this person performed live. So right. It's just, just like a CG character of any sort. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, we just had to do this video because I, I really haven't seen a video that blew me away like this in such a long time. And when I learned Dr. Dre was behind it, I thought, that <laughs> bastard, you know, he's at it again. But crazy. Just crazy. The future is here, babe! Yeah.